Hello, hello friends, Shriant here, and it's time to check out the demo for our life now and forever. Been excited for this, did like the first our life game, need to finish playing it, but the demo is here for the new one. Excited. And I thought for February I'd do some cute, happy, fun, lovey dovey games. It'll be fun. So let's jump right in, but my name is Shriant, hope you enjoy. So let's play this check out of this demo. Welcome to our life now and forever intro demo 25k world preview that includes the first few scenes of the game's prologue. It's a game by GB Patch. You're awesome. Expansions and improvements to the game will come out as time goes on. For example, the finished version will have partial voice acting. The Sinosu demo doesn't have any voice lines. How the game is com oh, when the game is complete, the entire story will be playable from start to end for free. However, paid optional DLCs will be available to add in even more scenes. The very start is a brief tutorial that will be skippable in future playthroughs. It will help you get acquainted with all the many ways your choices can impact how the game plays. At any time, you can press the pref button on the left side of your screen to open the settings page and make the experience better suited for you. You can change the text size, font style, sound volume levels, turn the light animation elements on or off, or other general options. The story of our life now and forever spans 12 years. Ooh. With the character you play as beginning as a 10 year old child ending as a 22 year old adult. I like that, that's cool. In between these points are two other stages of life, 14 year old adolescence and 18 year old young adulthood. These time periods are referred to as steps 1 through 4. This demo only contains scenes from childhood. You'll be able to determine almost everything about the playable character. Name, appearance, personality, pronouns, skills, weaknesses, how they act, what they feel, and more. I like that you can choose so much. None of these details can change as you grow up over the course of the game. However, they won't be forgotten. Who you are and who you were is remembered by the game and the characters you meet. Toshi you picked in step one can still be referenced all the way into step four. It builds together. The goal of our life is to let you truly live your own unique life in the quaint mountain town of Golden Grove. But there are also two main characters who grow up alongside your character. Tamarak, Balaman, and Chi 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 Lin. I'm not sure how to say that name. You have the option of being their friend, pursuing one romantically, just having them simply be people you know, letting your connection change over time, and so on. The relationship is customizable and progresses at whatever rate you want it to, if you want it to. A couple of things you can't do are date them both or break up with one after officially getting together. Ah. If you are had one become your romantic partner, that's permanent. Tamarack is a little girl. She her when you meet her, and she always identifies as a woman. Kui? Chi? Begins the story as a little boy, he, him, but questions their gender as the years go by. She will ultimately come out as gender fluid. He slash they. Interesting. Our life now and forever doesn't include the option of man to strictly male identifying character, we have another game, Our Life Beginning Always, the one I've played a little bit of, if that's your preference. You can play Half Cove. There will be other characters to interact with and prevent besides Tamarack and Chi, even though these two are the main focal points. I don't think it's Chi. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm sorry. How well you will get along with other kids, your teachers, your mom, and so on is still in your control. With those basics mentioned, the tutorial will move on to a new screen now to explain another major gameplay element. Customizing my character, how cute. The first thing you'll do in our life now and forever is design the appearance and basic details of your character. You'll be able to select the first name, last name, add a nickname too. You can also give your MC the general size, choose their dominant hand, and so on. The sex slash gender of the MC is customized as well, but that'll be done on a different screen later. The remaining parts of the section are all the many ways you can add the appearance of your character. A simple dress up doll icon is included to give an idea of what your playable character is like. You can change every aspect of the doll from the shape of their head to the eyes to the hairstyle to the coloring each element to what they wear. Customization can be extra unique by having the hair and her eyes be two different colors, tweaking the tints of the colors, flipping the direction of different elements, and more. Or you can stick to preset options if you're happy with them or want to get through the customization faster. 
You choose will be referenced in the script, and the icon image you put together will appear on the text box when your character speaks, unless you turn the element off. The game has a first-person perspective, so you don't see your MC standing alongside the non-playable characters in normal character sprite style. This first round of designing will be set will set some important basics like eye color and skin tone, that will never change for the rest of the story, and almost everything else can be altered eventually. That's neat. You get the option to use the screen to customize your MC at the start of each step. You can change your first name, nickname, hairstyle, what they're wearing, etc. all over again if you want. And new decoration options, such as facial piercings, ooh, will become available once your character has gotten older. Okay. Branching out. Let's start with this initial screen, so we'll let you begin. Majority of sections will pop up as you reach new gameplay features. Thank you so much for playing. We hope you had fun. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I mean, I think I like... I guess. This one. I kind of like the rounded one, though. It's cute. Let's see. Eyes. Ooh, big eyes. Cute eyes. I like all the eyes. I think I like this one. Though this one's cute too. Oh, so here's the color. There we go. I was wondering what that was. Oh, he's like tint and everything. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, I'm looking through the colors. I guess this will go work. Ooh, I like these colors of eyes. Yeah, the skin's a bit darker than I am, which is fine, but not me. <laughs> I like the golden eyes. Oh, you could do like one. Oh, hello. But oh, went back to normal. That looks kind of, I mean, it's cool, but confusing. Hmm. I'll go with cute pinkish eyes. So the gold are cute too, but I think I want pink. Now hair. Oh, look at all the hairstyles. I like it. That's super cute. Oh, look at that one. That's cute. No, oh, no. Too shaggy. Too shaggy. Oh, so you can do like this. Interesting. That's super cute. I like how you can combine them. Oh my. Might probably be something like that. Oh yeah, you can do the hair color. I keep forgetting. Oh, I can have green hair. Ooh.
pink hair color. Oh, okay, the front and the back. Okay. That's so cool. Oh, I like that. Purple's nice. Oh, okay. Bright. That's that cute green, though. Oh, it can be matching her eyes. Nice. Oh, the little bobbles change. Oh, okay. That's cute. I always like pink and purple together. I do kind of like this green. Sorry, I'm taking forever and create a character, but it's cute. I like it. Oh, the red's nice too, though. They're all so pretty. I change the tint on this one. It does change the bubbles. And the accessories. Now I want pink and pink. Yes, pink. Very pink and cute. Uh, now I want to look at the other hair though. Let's see what long hair looks like just in case. There's only a few fronts. Oh, interesting. Oh my. Not even that long. Oh, that's in a bun. That's cute. That looks pretty. I like that. You can't really see. Oh, click to flip. Oh, that's better. I I can flip it. Oh, that one's cute. I like the medium here better. Oh, you can have... Oh. You can mix the back and the front. Huh. Okay. It's gonna be like the first episode of me just looking through everything. Ah, oh, it's so cute though. Oh, I like that. I can't really see how it looks there. I like how you can mix them. That's cool. I think I like the medium here one I had. Which one was it? This one? Or this one? Both cute. I'll go with this one. Alright, I think that will be her for now. Accessories. Oh, more stuff to look at. Oh, I can like put on the neck accessory. Pretty much the start of her outfit. I change the color on here. Oh, okay. I don't think I need all that pink. A lot of pink, but not all that pink. Maybe purple since it matches that. Okay, that'd be cute. Not to take too long at this part, but you know I probably will. Oh, what is this? I can have earmuffs on. Those are cute. Kind of coat up her hair but nice what is that oh that's cool you can have that that's awesome i like that it's also oh wow that's pretty and i kind of want the earmuffs because <laughs> the earmuffs are cute i make them like purple but like a darker purple. Yeah, so they kind of stick out more. They might look horrible, but I think it's cute. Glasses. 
I do wear glasses in real life. You know I'd wear green glasses, right? <laughs> in real life, I would. I actually have some new glasses that are like light pink, but like they're almost see-through, which is cool. So it's kind of like skin tone, but not through it. I go with purple. I don't think I want it that dark because it would just kind of blend in more. Hmm. Does purple look good? I think it does. I can change these later, right? Right. Bandages. Oh crap, I have all three on. <laughs> ah, let's let's take those off. Thank you. Next. Vampire bit her. Extras. Oh, okay. Scars. I don't want any scars. I don't actually see it really. Oh, I guess it's here. Yeah, it's right there. Ooh, that'd be painful. That'd be painful too. No, no scars. Oh wow, you can have birthmarks. I have a lot of birthmarks on my. That's cool. Oh, I like the freckles. Those are cute. Oh, no acne. <laughs> no, no, it's not getting to that. All right. I think this is my character. Don't know what I'm going to name. Not Frankie. Frankie's cute, I guess, but dominant hand. Ah, uh, right hand's fine. Average height. Body type medium. Sure. Yep, I'm gonna keep it trying to sell her for now. Hello from the tutorial again. It was fun to customize. Now you get to customize your identity of your MC. Like the MC's appearance, you can make this aspect of your character as personalized as you want or make use of the more specific elements. During the gender of the MC is assigned at birth, what pronouns they use, if they use multiple pronouns, adding in your own custom pronoun, selecting which gender terms they come to with, and such can all be up to you. You can also change everything except your assigned gender of birth at the start of every new step. If you want to begin with one type of identity and then have your MC go through a transition from the older, that's completely doable. So free to select whatever feels more comfortable at this stage of the story. Hmm. She, ha. Female. Female. Honorifics. Wait, what's MX mean? I don't, I don't know. We're going with Miss Ryan Stellar for now. But I like how you can have that. That's cool. How do you like people refer to you? Female leaning work. Oh, hello. Now you've got your own character ready. You may influence the appearance of your biological mother. Oh, that's adorable. Yes. She has three hair textures and four skin tones. You can never look as similar or as different from your MC as you like. Ideally, more hair skin tone option be added for in further development. Nice! She chose to raise a child on her own and use artificial insemination to give birth to her to your character. The biological father never appears in a story. Oh wow. So she's gonna have a kid on her own. That's awesome of her though. Wow. So if your character happens to look nothing like their mom, you can be assume that they take after the off-screen father instead. You also get to choose what term your character refers to her by. Currently, it must be a title in order to make sense in the script. In her, in her first name, the phrasing won't make sense. Yeah, you can't say like, hey, Vivian, or whatever. No. Like, mom. Later builds of the game may be suited for calling her by her first name instead of a title. You'll also be able to change the title you use for her at the start of every new step. 
Her skin tone and hair texture remain consistent for the rest of the game. Okay. That's awesome. Hoping for that more skin tones here since your main character had them. But oh well. So with this one, what's how to use for your parent? Mommy. No, nope, mommy works for me. And we got to a little, last little bit of customization before the story begins. Your interface display style. First, there's your sticker. A sticker is just a cute image that appears in certain screen graphics, such as the choice menus and more importantly, save files. You can easily track different playthroughs by using different stickers. Oh, okay. I'd be the type who like actually ends up picking the same sticker like three times. And your sticker can change whenever you want by clicking info button on the sidebar and go to the details page. Oh, good. An example to use it would be if you had a playthrough you're enjoying, but in step two, you're not sure if you want to dramatically pursue Tamarack or Kui? Kui? You can take the same file, change the sticker, and make another save. One version of story and the sticker could have dating Tamarack. The other sticker is separate story. Kui. The demo has limited selection options and will be added to the final version of the game. Okay. Found two different text box styles to choose from. Additional visual novel arrangement with the box always along the bottom of the screen, or more of a comic book style where the speech bubbles are positioned next to the one talking at the bottom of the screen where it's narration. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for reading the beginning tutorial. One more section will appear near the end of the demo to explain a special gameplay feature. Okay. Huh. I want the acorn. I'll try the comic book style. I finally made it to gameplay. Oh my gosh. It looked like fall here in Golden Grove. More than any place you'd seen before. It could be in one of your old picture books to show little kids what autumn was supposed to be. There weren't any green trees or bushes, but there weren't just bare branches yet. It was almost the same as normal. All that changed were the colors. Red, orange, yellow, brown. Even the blue of the sky high above your head seemed different than it did in summer. It wasn't as bright either, as though it had gotten tired of sparkling by this late in the year, more like it was even further away from you now that you were in this place. The plants and sky didn't get this way where you lived where you used to live. Your thoughts continued to jump around while you stood there in the big circle of the street at the end of the road. Cul-de-sac. It was a weird path to you. It couldn't take you ahead or to the sides or anywhere else like most streets you've gone down. This one came right here with those with those big houses. The view in front of you was something you'd only ever seen in photos before, from stable together papers that advertised the middle house being for sale. Had been a picture book to you until this day. Now you knew that it felt like fall here too. Because it was cold outside. Chilly enough that you sometimes held your eyes closed for a few seconds longer than usual to try keeping your eyeballs from feeling like they were going to freeze inside your head. This was a real place, the ice that you're surrounding you said, and you were really in it. And it was where you were going to stay. That was new. Your mommy and you had lived in apartments before and never had, never for very long each time, although they moved around a lot. This was until she got a big job in this not that big town and bought a big house. You wouldn't be going anywhere else for a long time. Now in that moment, you can imagine being there forever. Now and forever. But that's just the way it is. The old tan house at the very end of the long round road was now your house, standing tall with two others by its sides. Those buildings were homes too, with their own people living inside. And those people those ancient houses are going to be your neighbors. Aw, look at the choices. It seemed okay to you. You felt kind of mixed up inside. You're super excited about everything that happened. You're mad. Oh no. It wasn't much you felt about that. It made you all so sad. You felt scared. This would really be something, you thought. Yeah, I think this will be something. Nothing's going to be boring anymore. 
It was even better because you'd be doing this if your mommy. Aw. And it was good that, that part was nice and your mommy was no fun. Oh no, you're gonna be with mommy. We'd have so much fun together. Let's try it. Come on over and take a look. Oh, that was your mommy's voice. You hadn't noticed she'd gone so far. You wasted no time catching up in order to unite with her. Off the cul-de-sac road and cutting across lines of grass and sidewalk, we used to pick at fence your mommy had called from. The gate was unlocked. Like the other houses, in front of yours was a tiny gray stone walkway that led up to a couple of steps, and these steps led to the door. You walked along the private path, making sure each foot landed squarely on a rock and not on one of the dirt cracks in between until you arrived within a line. Can't step on the cracks! Then you hopped on the tiny stairs to stand beside your mommy. Oh, she's pretty! I love the mom! Looks so pretty, wow. And there was your, there your mommy was, standing at the edge of the porch, arms folded and waiting. She must have been moving around before because the shiny opal earrings she always had on were twisting from side to side a little bit. You knew they're real opal stones because she told you before when she first got them. She also told you a long time ago that her normal name, not mommy, was opal. Hello opal. Her clothes were the colors of a cloudy day after rain had already come and gone. The kind of day that could be cold and bad or really relaxing and comfy. It depended. You wondered which way she looked at it from. You didn't know. The rest of her, though, was so much more bold, especially the matching purple, purpley cranberryness of both her hair and eyes. Oh, <laughs> purple cranberryness. Okay. There weren't a lot of things out in the world with that color that could feel gloomy. Mommy smiled at you. It made you feel as soft and warm as the inside of your mommy. Wait. Mommy smiled at you. It made you feel as soft and warm on the inside as your mommy was on the outside. What do you think? It's a pretty place, huh? I've seen worse junk. Wow, it stinks. I've seen better places. It's okay. It's beautiful. Stared her blankly. Uh-huh. Gonna have my own room, right? Not eagerly. It stinks. She cared firstly. I say you nod eagerly. Her mouth stayed in the shape of a smile, but her eyes and eyebrows changed, blending in in a way that made it seem like she wasn't really smiling, or it was some other kind of smile. She put a hand on one of the white painted pole things that kept the porch roof from falling down. Ringo's moved down it. Won't be too much longer. The real estate agent should be here to hand over the keys in a couple hours or so. Oh, dang, hours. Then I'll be official. We'll be the newest residents of Golden Grove. You shifted on your weight from one foot to the other. This was a big deal to your mommy. Her whole life was changing, too. You hoped it wouldn't be a mistake. You didn't want your mom to be sad. Seriously. Well, you've seen the yard and the outside. You don't have to wait here the entire time. But you go look around the rest of the neighborhood. She bent down, placing hands on her knees to owner speak directly to you on the same level. It's a safe town, especially in this area. You'll be able to play freely out here. Wow, that's different. Okay. Yeah, my parents would never been like, oh, explore this whole new random new place. No. No. <laughs> like, do not leave my sight. <laughs> okay, you jumped up happily, perked up with suggestion. You had some white and fear. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You huffed out unhappily. You merely shrugged. You heard your face your hands not wanting to go. You turned your face away from defiantly. Your eyes went wide in fear. It's scary out there. Mommy went back to her normal way of standing, with her head up high and arms folded. It's okay to be nervous. It doesn't have to change. But sometimes you're sometimes doing something, even you're unsure, is for the best. This is one of those times. You might find you're braver than you think you are. Just don't stray into other streets, okay? Yes, Mommy. That's not fair. I won the promise. You didn't give her the rules, but you kept that to yourself. <laughs> give a big thumbs up. Keep coming about the restriction. Hmm. Yes, Mommy. Thank you. I trust you. With that, you left, let your gaze fall down the steps, across the path, into the gated fence. Took a half step in that direction. Mommy pushed the air in front of you. In front of her, and I guess she encouraged you to go forward. 
He kept moving, putting one foot in front of the other. Oh, step one prologue. So cute. So it has been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to end this episode here and start exploring and meeting new people next time. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our life now and forever. I hope you have an awesome day. I really appreciate it. Bye.